Assalamu alaikum. There is a common misconception among non Muslims that Islam promotes violence, bloodshed, and brutality, since the Quran says that Muslims should kill the Kafirs wherever they find them. Non Muslims must know the fact that Islam, the word, is derived from Arabic word meaning peace. So basically, it is absurd to think that Islam promotes violence. If you are an educated Muslim, you may feel sad for them because the non-Muslim did not know the very next verse. The very next verse clarified the only situation in which a non-Muslim can be killed and that is of war. Not only this, but he should be armed and attacking Muslims or even any other non-Muslim. No woman and children can be killed or harmed during any war. The critics of Islam quotes a verse of chapter Toba, which was meant to increase morale of Muslims during the war. They ignore all the previous verses and even the very next verse. Surah Toba chapter 9 verse 6 gives the answer to the allegation that Islam promotes violence, brutality and bloodshed. It says, if one amongst the Pagans asks thee for asylum, grant it to him, so that he may hear the word of Allah, and then escort him to where he can be safe, secure. That is because they are men without knowledge. Al-Quran chapter 9 verse 6 The Quran not only says that the Muslim seeking asylum during the battle should be granted refuge but also that he should be escorted to a secure place in the pressure international scenario even a kind peace loving army's general during a battle may let the enemy soldiers go free if they want peace but which army general will ever tell his soldiers that if the enemy soldiers want peace during a battle during a battle that is don't just let them go free but also escort them to a place of security this is exactly what allah says in his glorious book of quran to promote peace in the world Also, if you read verse number 4, that the critic of Islam's don't quote just to misguide non-Muslims, it says, Accepted are those with whom you made a treaty among the polytheists, and then they have not been deficient toward you in anything or supported anyone against you, so complete for them their treaty until their term. Indeed, Allah loves the righteous. Now, if we read the first verse of chapter, we will come to know the context or the context in which the verse has been said. Kirik of Islam actually quotes this verse out of context just to misguide non-Muslims and to spread head. In order to understand the context, we need to read from verse 1 of this surah. That is chapter. It says that there was a peace treaty between the Muslims and the Mushriks of Makkah. This treaty was violated by the Mushriks of Makkah. A period of four months was given to the Mushriks of Makkah to make amends. Otherwise, what would be declared against them? Verse 5 of Surah Taba exactly says, But when the forbidden months are passed, then fight and slay the Pagans. Wherever ye find them and seize them, beleaguer them and lie in wait for them in every stratagem. But if they repent and establish regular place and practice regular charity, then open the way for them for Allah is oft for This verse was quoted during a battle. Thanks for watching.